What's up guys, this is Brandon with Sonic Electronics and today we got another Q&A for you. We actually have two questions for you. Uh, the first question is going to be, how do you bridge a two-channel amplifier? And that's from Justin J on YouTube. The second question is, I have a two-channel amp, but I want to power four speakers. Can I run two in parallel on one channel and two on the other channel? And that's from Mr. Frost on YouTube. Well, to start out, I'm going to show you guys how to properly bridge an amplifier, a two-channel, four-channel, five channel, six channel, it's all gonna be the same process as long as you have multiple channels. So we, here we have a uh, MVX MVPA4 four channel, and I've already pre-bridged the speaker to channel one and two. On every amplifier, even if it's a two channel, four channel, five channel, it doesn't matter, you're gonna notice on the speaker outputs, where it shows you what each channel is, it's gonna say bridged. So here we have, it's telling us, take the front right output, which is positive, so I'll go to your positive speaker lead, and the front left output, which is negative, to the negative speaker lead going to that particular speaker that you're trying to bridge. That's how you properly bridge the amplifier. Usually it'll look similar to this on every amp, and uh, basically what you're doing here is doubling the power of those channels combined now together. Uh, most people will do this if they're, let's say, a two channel, and you wanna run a woofer off that two channel. Now you can make it mono by bridging those two channels together, doubling that amount of power, and uh, be able to run your woofer as long as you have a low pass filter switch, you can adjust the actual crossover points, et cetera. Uh, now the second question that we have is, can I power two speakers off that channel that's being bridged? Unfortunately, no. Most speakers, door speakers, if I'm guessing that's what you have in your vehicle, they're four ohms. So if you wire those two in parallel, they're gonna be a final impedance of two ohms. If you bridge the amplifier, it will go into protection. So it's gonna shut off. I mean, of course, there may be an amplifier out there that I don't know of that can be bridged at two ohm final impedance, but 99% of the time, the amplifier is just gonna go straight and protect. So the only combinations that you really have if you wanna pair two speakers on an amplifier, like a two channel or four channel, that you want to bridge is having two single voice coil eight ohm speakers wired in parallel, which will equal a four ohm impedance, you can bridge that. Or two two ohm single voice coil speakers wired in series up to four ohms, you could bridge that. But if it's a normal door speaker, like a coaxial or a component that has a four ohm rating, and you wire two together, it's gonna to drop it down to two ohms and the amplifier will go right into protect. So that's a no-no, you can't do it. Other than that, that's pretty simple. Bridging an amplifier is very straightforward. Just make sure you look through the owner's manual of that amplifier, just in case, and look at the speaker outputs of that amplifier, which will give you the little insignia to tell you where you need to attach your speaker wire to in order to bridge that amplifier properly. Now make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, make sure you keep those questions coming. And if this video helped you out today, make sure you mash that like button. And other than that, this is Brennan with Sonic Electronics. I hope you guys have a great day.